morning guys it is the next day i've been staying up so late every single night just like working because i randomly get a like kick of energy at night so last night i ended up finishing up listing all of the fabrics and stuff i haven't like officially put them up but i got all the pictures edited got all the descriptions in and there's just a lot of them so it took me forever also yesterday i finalized the fact that i'm also doing a pop-up early april at iu indiana university so kind of need to prep for that but then also i was like i literally have never done a pop-up so i have absolutely no like marketing material for it like i don't have banners i don't have like things to like put in like a little pop-up area so i went like to town on buying a bunch of stuff last night and designing like the sign that i wanted and some of like the little like things that i want on the table as far as like info and stuff and then i also bought like one of those little card swipey thingies that you can put onto your phone so that i can take payments because like i could just do venmo but i really don't like to go through that so i bought one of those little card readers so that i can attach to my phone and i think it links up to squarespace so i have to kind of figure that out but i went to town yesterday on buying all the stuff that i need so yeah lots of stuff going on but i'm basically doing like pop-up after pop-up after pop-up it's what it feels like so i'm kind of scared that i'm not gonna have like a lot of inventory because it's loki coming up and i have two trips in the meet like in the middle of that so i feel like today is just like i need to get stuff done or at least get stuff like cut out and get it like prepped so i can kind of distribute it amongst myself lily and starry while i'm like gone as well so first things first though today i want to finish up the order that i cut out and then i also got the measurements for the one order that wanted it a little bit longer so we'll cut that one out as well and then we'll also cut out the nest dress order that i got just to get all the actual orders out of the way and then after that i want to get started on cutting out just like inventory to start making i'm also doing like a little pop-up event at the end of april which i've talked about in joshua tree and by that point i want to have like my summer collection kind of showing I think that this collection is still gonna last through the summer a little bit like i'm obviously gonna keep it up until there's no more fabric left and maybe it will last into the summer a bit but i do want to have like my newer items ready for that time because i want to showcase that while i'm there so i kind of need to get that like set up pretty fast low-key because that's coming up soon and i want to get that ready but yeah i'm excited though because i have really thrived off of the in-person events that i've done the past year and i feel like it's been a hot minute since i've done one like, i think like, literally new york fashion it was the last one i really did so i'm excited it'll be nice it'll also be fun to do something here because i obviously have a lot of friends at iu or just to like a lot of people that know me so i think it'd be fun to just like you know show up there and have people be able to like come say hi so hopefully all goes well but anyway i'm gonna get sewing so that we can start getting through all these orders i also need to go to the post office today and start dropping some of these off hopefully so that's what i have um planned let's get sewing later is the all-in-one social marketing platform that supports you as you grow your business to reach new audiences staying on top of all your social media can be really really difficult and i believe that planning things out is always the easiest way to go about it i know as a business owner i love any sort of planning tools and this one is so so good especially for planning out your instagram you can also plan out other social media like facebook or pinterest or anything like that but it's super easy to just upload a bunch of pictures, schedule your posts. I also love the fact that they have the hashtag suggestions because I always struggle with figuring out what hashtags to use. And then you can see what your feed's gonna look like and it is so simple and easy to use. Something else that I really, really love about this is the fact that they also offer a blog with a lot of insights on how to grow your social media, whether you're a creator, or a business owner, social media like manager, whatever you are, there's specific articles that can help you figure out what you need and how to grow your own niche and whatever you're doing. I obviously love the fact that they have one specifically for small businesses and brands because that is where I like to fit in and kind of look through all of those things. And I also love that they just have like specific categories for each social media because we all know that every single platform is so different. And specifically with TikTok, I love that they have articles that tell you like what's trending right now because it just changes so fast and sometimes you don't really get to you know scrolling and figuring it all out for yourself it's so much easier for somebody to tell you what to do so i definitely recommend checking out all of their blogs for whatever you need help with and yeah everything will be linked down below
just got the top pretty much done. I just have to do the shirring on the sleeves, but I'm still doing that on my home sewing machine because I haven't figured out how to do it on the industrial in terms of like messing with the tension and stuff. So I don't really feel like doing that. I also need to buy more bobbins for it because these use metal bobbins and obviously my home sewing machine uses plastic ones. So I have a bunch of plastic ones, but not metal ones. So that's also a factor. But anyway, I'm going to cut out to the other top of this that I need to do. And that way I can get started on that. And then I'll just show them both at the same time and get the machine set up for that later. But yeah, I'm going to do that. And then I had already cut out a top for this order because originally she had said she wanted like half an inch extra just like a little longer so that's what i did but then she emailed me and told me that like she wanted it a little longer and then i told her to send me measurements and the measurements is more than like half an inch so we're gonna recut it out but i'm just going to take off the half an inch on that one and make it like a normal length for the size that it is and then just have that as a pre-made piece. So like, I'm not mad about it. I'll just have another piece cut out. Yeah, so then we'll get that one sewn up too, but I need to cut it first. But yeah, that is, that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut and then continue sewing. I just wanna get these like out of the way today so we can get started on other things but I'm feeling good. I really have enjoyed sewing on this machine so much. It's so nice. Honestly, just having it level with the table is so underrated and how much easier it is to like pass it through the machine and like not have to constantly be readjusting because of like fabrics like dragging down or anything literally makes the biggest difference. So that's been super nice. That's all I got. I'm gonna cut and then we'll continue sewing and see where the rest of the day takes us. Okay, so I just realized that the measurements she sent me are probably wrong because I told her to send me the measurements from her shoulder to her waist and she sent me a measurement but then said shoulder to hip and I can't do shoulder to hip because with these tops the way they're structured like if I wanted it to go past the waist then I would have to change the whole dart system to be like a double dart kind of moment because obviously the waist is the smallest part and then it would have to go out again for the hip so you can't just like make it longer and hope it works because that makes the structure like go like this and your body goes in and out so I tried to explain that best as I could to her and be like like I can only make it to wherever your waist hits because this does hit above the waist like the way that I have these made they're like a little bit above so that you'd have like a little bit of midriff so it totally makes sense to add more to where it hits your natural waist and obviously people's torso lengths are different but I just want to clarify that with her before I cut it because it seems like a very long length and maybe she does have a long torso and I just have a short torso and like I don't know but I want to clarify that with her before I cut it out so we're not going to cut that one out but I am just going to go ahead and make the one that I had previously cut out so I'm gonna start sewing this one up just to half since it's already like prepped and then I'll just cut it to the normal length that it needs to be at and yeah and then hopefully she'll answer soon and then we can get that started but if not I do want to cut out the Ines dress that I got an order for as well and then I also have a floor top to make as well so I want to get those things cut out but I'll start sewing this one up since I'm already at it and that way we can just get those done out of the way and not have like things piled up here so yeah that is what we've got so now we're just gonna keep sewing I just finished both tops. I fully finished this one with the grommets. I haven't put the grommets into this one, but this is the one of like the order. And that one's just like an extra, so I don't really care to put that in right now. But this one is done and ready. And it's about to be 12, so I'm gonna take my lunch break. And then after that, I will cut out the Ines dress. I actually have one that I started cutting out for Dodie, actually, when she reached out to me about like wanting to wear some of my pieces. Because at first, we like messed up the sizing, or they gave me UK sizing without stating that it was UK sizing. And it just felt very wrong because she told me it was a UK size eight and based on her pictures she just looked like she was a very small person so i was like this doesn't seem right so i started cutting out a size eight of the Ines dress and i was like i just don't think this is right and then eventually we figured out that like no she was closer to like an actual just like size two four in u.s sizing so i have a size eight cut out and i believe the order i got might be a size 10 but i think the skirt might work or i might be able to like reuse some of these pieces or something maybe the order is an eight i don't really remember but i want to see if i can use 
that one that I cut out in any sort of way for this dress because I don't want to waste any uh, of this fabric and I haven't put it together yet. But anyway, I'm gonna take a lunch break and then we'll get back to this. Okay, it's a little bit later and I almost forgot that I have like a meeting at 3.30, so, or I mean at three. So I still have time, but I got dressed also because I've been filming like little videos every single day of March, just like showcasing different women for Women's History Month. And I don't have one for today. I've been like batching them. So it's like every couple of days I'll film a bunch but today's one of the days I need to film and I haven't done that yet so also just like need to get dressed for that and also I think I'm gonna go ahead and package up the two orders that I finished up and go ahead and get those ready to be sent out so I can go to the post office later because I do have a package that's a little more urgent that I need to drop off so I'll just go drop those off with them as well and yeah it's kind of what I have in mind for now and then maybe we'll continue sewing later but I am gonna go out to dinner tonight with some friends and we're driving up to Purdue because we're like family friends. So me and David live here in like the suburbs of Indianapolis area. And our friend Laura goes to Purdue. So she lives in West Lafayette, which is about like an hour-ish out, an hour and a half if there's traffic or whatever, but it's not terribly far. We see each other pretty frequently, but uh, we haven't seen each other in so long. Uh, she actually came to LA with me the last time I went. So we've been like seeing each other a little bit more often, but we haven't been able to like all three of us like hang out in a long time. And David's about to leave for like spring break for a while. And then I'm leaving for Dallas and LA and then Laura's also leaving for stuff, so we're really trying to make it work. So David and I are driving up there tonight to just have dinner with her, which I'm very excited about. But that being said, we're leaving early because obviously it takes an hour-ish to get there. So we might have a shorter day and might not get back to sewing today, but I do wanna get all of this figured out and get kind of everything situated. So let's get packaging and then we'll see what we have time for. So I have about 30 minutes before the call, so I'm just gonna like hang out and wait 30 minutes. And then we'll go to the post office to drop off the packages. One of them, I actually have to go to UPS because I need it to get there a little bit faster than the normal USPS times. And quite honestly, I don't know where the nearest UPS store is, so I need to look that up. But we'll go to the post office, the UPS store, get those dropped off. And then depending on timing, we'll see if we have time to start on anything else today or not. If not, tomorrow will be another sewing day, but yeah. I also announced that I'm putting up all those fabrics tomorrow um, during the restock as well. So hopefully those do well. I've noticed quite a few people like turn on the countdown like reminder notification thingies on Instagram. So hopefully those do well and I can get some of these out of my way as well. I also, I think I said this earlier that I am doing like a pop-up event at IU. Um, but it's like officially officially confirmed now because Kennedy just got back to me saying that our like spot has been reserved. It's basically like this cute little festival that they do once a month. It's called First Thursdays. So it's on the first Thursday of April and it's a bunch of like local vendors and artists and students and all the things. So Kennedy and I are doing it together because obviously she's a student at IU and I'm not and I never have been. Um, so we're kind of doing it as if like she's like a co-founder of the company, even though obviously she's not, she just works with me, but I don't really care. So we're going to be running it together, which I'm excited about. But yeah, it's officially official. Like we are confirmed. So that's really exciting. I really do need to start thing about what I want to have made because yeah I don't know I have a lot of like little pop-ups coming up so I need to I need to really think this through yeah that's all I got we'll catch you guys in a little bit so I just had the call and then I actually had another call after that with that was not planned but Kristen from Adelinda who is the person that I've done all my like California events in New York Fashion Week with she called me when I was in the middle of the other call so I called her back and we just accidentally talked for like 30 minutes but just catching up on all the stuff for LA because she's also the one planning all of that and getting that situated. I'm super excited and I'm like so thankful to have like such a great working relationship with her. It's like one-on-one, -on -one, which is really great. So vented to her about how I don't have anything really prepped and how I'm like super stressed, but she's like on the same page. So we're doing great. But I'm gonna go ahead and go to the post office now to drop off the stuff. There's actually a UPS store on the way to the post office, which I've never noticed. So love that. We'll drop that one off there too. And then by the time we get back, it'll probably be close to like time to leave for dinner. So maybe we'll just like edit a YouTube video for the few minutes that I have in between, but nothing too crazy going on there. Don't mind me just like grabbing some socks. Yeah, I'm feeling honestly like, I feel like I've said this in a few vlogs, but I am weirdly not super stressed. Like I'm stressed, but I'm not like overwhelmed to the point of like, 
breaking down in tears like I usually am. And I feel like it is largely due to the fact that I finally have like consistent sewing help. Like I've had sewing help for the past year or so, but it hasn't been consistent. And I feel like over the past couple months, I've made it a goal to make it consistent and be like, okay, every week I want to give them something to do just so that I can get something off my hands. Even if it's not like orders, it's like pre-making stuff or like getting ahead on other like new collections and stuff like that. It's been so good for my mental health to have that kind of help and to just be constantly giving stuff to people even though like I don't think I've seen the return of it yet in terms of like finances like I think I'm still kind of in an investing period of it but I feel really good about just like my personal health and also the fact that I'm like able to go out to dinner with friends on a weekday and not feel guilty about it so that's a random side note. If you run a small business like I do and you haven't hired help in any sort of way, I think it's definitely worth the investment. I think for a long time I was really hesitant on it just because I was like, well, like that's like money that I have to be spending and not money that I'm earning and I don't really make enough to be spending. But at the same time, it really has benefited me in so many ways. So I'm very, very thankful for that. Granted, nobody's like full time. I'm still mostly doing everything myself, but even just like two to three hours a week from somebody really does help. And I feel like so much more relieved in my life and I feel like I haven't had any sort of like crazy business mental breakdown at all since like the holiday collection, which like honestly for like two and a half-ish months that I've been kind of working on new stuff, that's a long period of time without some sort of mental breakdown. I feel like I usually had a mental breakdown like once a month of like, oh my God, I'm so stressed. There's so much going on. But even though I have probably the most stuff going on now than I ever have, I'm very much chilling. So maybe that's not a good thing. Maybe I should be more stressed, but I'm feeling good. That being said, let's go to the post office. <laughs> like that was, I don't know why I just got into such a, a deep talk right there, but let's go. Good morning guys, it is the next day. Last night I ended up just going to dinner with my friends. It was so good. We went to an all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue and we quite literally had all we could possibly eat. And I am still full right now, so love that. Anyway, today I actually forgot I have a flora top to make. I don't know if I mentioned that yesterday or not, but I need to make that and then the nest dress. And those are the two orders that I have to make. And then we have a restock today and today I'm also putting up the fabrics for sale. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, that's all we have today. So today I have like a full work day, which I'm excited about. No meetings, no nothing. I feel like I've had a million meetings and random things throughout the entire week. So I'm excited to just have like a full day of doing what I need to do. So uh, that's what we got going on. I'm gonna start by cutting out the floor top. I might cut out a couple extra ones for just to have in stock for like the pop-ups and stuff. And yeah, other than that, let's get into it. <laughs> the flora top so that is ready to go i went ahead and cut out another one too but i haven't started on it this one i do need to send out though so i will do that i still need to kind of figure out the inez dress and see if the one that i previously cut out is gonna work because i checked and she put in a size 10 but her measurements i think might actually match a size 8 better which is i believe what i cut out originally so i want to kind of like see if that is one because then that would be easier than having to recut it out so I'm gonna check on that. But I also want to like low-key finish up these freaking uh, purses that I've never finished. My zero waste bags, I've literally had them there forever. And I was like, oh, I'll just wait till I get an industrial machine because it'll be easier to like top stitch around it. And I still haven't done that. So I think I might do that today too, just before I get any more like orders with the restock or anything. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna get any or not, but like if I do, I wanna kind of just get ahead on other stuff. So that's another thing I wanna do today. I'm just trying to take it slow so I don't lose my inspiration in all of this because I need to get so much stuff done and I'm trying to not like overwhelm myself so that I don't get in a creative block. So that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the other room to be packaged up and yeah, I'm gonna take a little break and then we'll come back. Hello guys, it's a lot later. I ended up calling my mom and then having lunch. Um, So it is like 1.30 now and I'm gonna go ahead and figure out the whole Ines dress situation. And actually, I think I was wrong. I think it is actually a size 10. I forgot I changed my size chart and like I'm not familiar with like the exact measurements of it just yet. I feel like I had my previous size chart like down in my head, but now I need to like re-remember it. But side note, somebody literally just tagged me in like a really freaking cute reel of them 
in the flora top and like I get so happy when people tag me in like pictures, stories, reels, whatever like literally makes my day and this one is so freaking cute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys because what the frick. Like she did a cute little like unpacking like so freaking cute and she styled it two different ways like a little casual casual one and then she did it with like this beautiful freaking skirt i'm obsessed with this it's such a freaking cute combo what the heck i'm literally so honored i love when people send me stuff so that just made my day anyway i'm gonna go figure out this whole inez dress situation i think i need to probably cut out the pattern i have a couple extra ones that i haven't like cut down to a size yet so we'll probably have to do that and get started on it i don't know if i have zippers i need to see if i have a zipper i think i do but i need to double check that and yeah let's figure this out into the dress i just need to put in the zipper but i don't have the zipper i thought i did and i don't so i'm gonna have to order one and then be able to finish it when it comes in it's about 3 30 and i'm trying to figure out what i want to do with the rest of the day i was gonna go to the post office to drop off the package that i have but i might just drop it off tomorrow because i feel like for whatever reason i would like be like crunched on time for my restock and fabric launch today at five so i might just do some editing because i honestly haven't started editing the video for saturday and it's already thursday and usually i've been like ahead on all of that and i'm not ahead right now so i need to get ahead otherwise tomorrow is going to be like a full editing day and i don't want to do that so i think i might just edit for a little bit that sounds like the move we got ahead on everything that we can do i still don't have an answer for the gabrielle top yet so i have, can't make that so i guess we'll edit and i'll catch you guys later during the restock or fabric selling if not later after that or tomorrow we'll see but i'll catch you guys later